ओके सो आई थिंक द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज अबाउट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट सिंपल इंटरेस्ट अपना हो गया अभी नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट राइट प्लीज क्लोज योर टेक्स्ट बुक्स फर्स्ट आई विल ओपन द टेक्स्ट बुक फ्रॉम हियर इफ आई वॉन्ट टू चेक द आंसर यू गाइज विल क्लोज योर टेक्स्ट बुक सो फर्स्ट इन दिस पार्ट विल यूज विल फाइंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट विदाउट यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला फॉर कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट there is another formula for finding compound interest direct formula but in this exercise we are not going to use the formula i am not sure whether in 8th class there is formula or not let me just check in the textbook Did you you sent me the homework? Okay, मैंने इसके आगे स्कैन नहीं लिया था कैन यू चेक इन योर बुक कैन यू ओपन योर बुक प्लीज शो मी या सो दिस इज कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट विदाउट यूजिंग फॉर्मूला then there is formula for the third part and uh, compound interest for okay abhi to easy hai chapter jo aage ka bacha hai book band rakhna book up open nahi karna hai theek hai so the question is what is compound interest compound interest hota kya hai compound interest ka matlab hai ki jo interest hum log dhoond rahe hain that is that we used to find in simple interest terms for the whole duration agar time 3 years tha to t ki jagah 3 leke ek hi formula mein dal ke seedha calculate kar dete hum but yahan pe aisa nahi hai yahan pe ek term use hoti hai har ek question mein use hoti hai that is this compounded annually compounded annually matlab every year the interest has to be calculated and compounded इंटरेस्ट को हर साल अलग से ढूंढना पड़ेगा और कंपाउंड करना पड़ेगा सो दिस इज द डिफरेंस कि तुम्हें एक साथ पूरे सारे टाइम पीरियड का कैलकुलेशन नहीं कर सकते तुम्हें ईयर बाय ईयर कैलकुलेशन करना है सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू दिस क्वेश्चन पूरा सॉल्व करके दिखाऊंगा कैसे सॉल्व करना है देन यू नोट इट डाउन विथ मी इफ यू कैन नोट इट डाउन एंड देन नेक्स्ट फ्रॉम नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑनवर्ड्स आई विल आस्क यू टू ट्राई With me, ठीक है सो करना क्या है देखो फाइंड द अमाउंट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट क्या क्या ढूंढना है हमें अमाउंट ढूंढना है और क्या ढूंढना है कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ऑन रुपीज एट थाउजेंड मतलब प्रिंसिपल कितना है रुपीज एट थाउजेंड एट फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम रेट है फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम फॉर टू ईयर्स टाइम कितना है टू ईयर्स compounded annually so time is 2 years that means we have to do two calculations one for the first year second for the second year if time would have been 3 years to so humko teen bar calculation karna padta jitna zyada time utna zyada calculations karna padega so you have to be ready for that simple interest mein ek sath hum log t ki jagah 2 dal dete the yahan pe aisa nahi hoga to likhna kaise hai bahut important hai how to write sabse pehle for फर्स्ट ईयर फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर ठीक है फर्स्ट ईयर के लिए जो प्रिंसिपल है उसको क्या लिखेंगे हम लोग पी वन प्रिंसिपल वही लेंगे जो हमें क्वेश्चन में दिया है रुपीज एट थाउजेंड रेट की जगह हम लोग लेंगे आर वन कितना लेंगे फाइव परसेंट पर एन एम जो रेट दिया है और टाइम की जगह लिखेंगे टी वन और वो लेंगे वन ईयर टाइम हमेशा हर ईयर का टाइम वन ईयर ही होगा क्योंकि वी आर डूइंग ईयरली कैलकुलेशन सो टाइम है वन ईयर अब यहाँ पे हमें क्या ढूंढना है वी हैव टू फाइंड द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट डायरेक्टली नहीं आएगा वो एंड में आएगा सबसे पहले विल फाइंड आई वन वॉट इज आई वन इंटरेस्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर दैट इज पी वन आर वन टी वन अपॉन हंड्रेड ठीक है सो आई वन इज इक्वल टू पी वन इज एट थाउजेंड 
आर वन इज फाइव टी वन इज वन अपॉन हंड्रेड जीरो जीरो कैंसल आई वन इज इक्वल टू एट फाइव जा फोर्टी और और एक जीरो है सो रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड ठीक है अब देखो और भी कुछ चीजें हमें लिखनी पड़ेगी इसके साथ हम्म आई वन तक तो मिल गया हमें अब क्या करेंगे अब हम लोग निकालेंगे ए वन ए वन क्या है अमाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर अमाउंट का फॉर्मूला क्या है प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट प्रिंसिपल फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर प्लस इंटरेस्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट ईयर पी वन प्लस आई वन ए वन इज इक्ल पी वन प्लस आई वन पी वन क्या है पी वन देखो यहां पे लिखा है एट थाउजेंड आई वन क्या है फोर हंड्रेड सो वॉट इज ए वन रुपीज एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड तो ज्यादा खुश होने की जरूरत नहीं है कि हमें आओ आगे आगे आंसर आंसर नहीं आया अभी तक बिकॉज रिमेंबर द टाइम वॉज टू and we have just done the calculation for the first year now we have to repeat this calculation in the same manner for second year ab kuch samajh mein aa raha hai this is compound interest compound interest you go year by year you don't go all together like simple interest so now yes i will i will tell you this we, we will write as p2 P2 is the principal for the second year, and P2 is nothing but A1. A1 amount at the end of first year. A1, just a moment. Raj, can you hear me and see my screen? Yes, sir. Great. So P2 will become A1. ए वन मतलब अमाउंट एट द एंड ऑफ फर्स्ट ईयर जो फर्स्ट ईयर के एंड की अमाउंट है वो सेकेंड ईयर का प्रिंसिपल बन जाता है सो वी गेट आर प्रिंसिपल एज रुपीज एट थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड वॉट विल बी आर टू रेट फॉर सेकेंड ईयर इट विल बी फाइव परसेंट रेट थ्रू आउट सेम है क्रिश Yes sir hello sir how Hi. are you uh, where were you in the last class yes sir um actually i am i was on a family trip so i could not attend the classes also i have not received your homework of the first part Excuse yes sir i wanted to discuss with you that um i am stuck at 8th and 9th question i'm not understanding the method of 8th and 9th question of 8a uh that also we have discussed in the last live class Yes. Oh, sorry, sir. I was not there yeah, in the last. Yeah, and I have sir. also posted the video, recorded video. I had seen the uh, video which in which I was there. No, the next. I the, actually just forgot. You, you had to see the video watch. in which you were not there. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's just like. Yeah, just see that, and you will understand because I have discussed everything there. Okay, sir. Okay, and I want the homework. Ah, huh? please make sure that yes, you submit sir. your. Yes, sir. I will. I will give it. I will give it, sir. Okay, great. Okay, so the this also I'm recording everyone. So those who joined late, don't need no need to worry. You can see the recording for the part which you have missed. Okay, sir. So um, where we are exactly now? On which we side? are on the second part on the first question, first solved example of the second part compound interest. We have just started with the compound interest. Okay, sir. Okay, great. T two T two will also be one year, and we have to find I two. The formula will be P two R two T two upon hundred. ऐसे लिखना जरूरी है. भले textbook में ऐसे नहीं लिखा है, but हमारी एक technique है, जिससे हम follow करेंगे, ताकि easy होगा समझना. It's easy to understand, right? So I two will be P two, which is eight thousand four hundred times R two, which is five times T two, which is one upon hundred. I two eight five zero forty. Four hundred and twenty rupees, four twenty I two, and we can find A two with this. A two will be P two plus I two, which is eight thousand four hundred plus four twenty, which is rupees eight thousand eight hundred and twenty. This is 
the amount now if you read the question carefully they are asking find the amount and compound interest so amount is equal to rupees 8820 matlab jo tumhara final amount aaya hai final year ka that is your final amount that is your total amount and if they are asking you for the interest i there are two methods two formula for finding the interest the first method is i1 plus i2 that is you add the interest of two years two consecutive years so i is equal to i1 which is 400 plus i2 which is 420 so i is equal to rupees 820 ठीक है और एक दूसरा तरीका है और करके बताता हूं मैं I इज इक्वल टू अमाउंट ऑफ द लास्ट ईयर फाइनल ईयर दैट इज ए टू माइनस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द फर्स्ट ईयर पी वन फाइनल अमाउंट माइनस ओरिजिनल प्रिंसिपल ये और एक फॉर्मूला है फाइनल अमाउंट क्या है एट एट टू जीरो ओरिजिनल प्रिंसिपल क्या है एट थाउजेंड तो रुपीज एट ट्वेंटी यहां से भी क्या आता है इंटरेस्ट एट ट्वेंटी सो इंटरेस्ट दो तरीके से निकाल सकते हैं या तो ये वाला फॉर्मूला यूज करो या तो ये वाला फॉर्मूला यूज करो दोनों में तुम्हें आंसर सेम आएगा ये दोनों फॉर्मूला है तुम कोई भी यूज कर सकते हो ये भी यूज कर सकते हो ये भी कर सकते हो ठीक है तुम्हारी बुक में कौन सा फॉर्मूला है डज नॉट मैटर आई एम गिविंग यू टू ऑप्शन सो दैट इन केस यू फॉर गेट वन फॉर्मूला और इन केस इट इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू रिमेम्बर वन ऑफ द फॉर्मूला यू कैन यूज द अदर This is the whole process. Compound interest में क्या करना है Year by year calculation करना है And यही method और यही technique और यही form जिससे मैंने लिखा है वही form में मुझे चाहिए answer तुम्हारी book में जब मैं test लूंगा इसकी और मुझे इसके कोई अलग तरीके से मिला तो मैं नहीं उसको consider करूंगा मैं ये इसलिए strictly बोल रहा हूँ because there are children who use any method which they like. whether it is schools method or textbook methods but that is not clear sometimes mereko to textbook ka method nahi samajh mein aata in fact ye method maine kisi textbook mein hi dekhi hui hai aur wahi main ab tak follow kar raha hu because it's very easy to understand in many other textbooks the methods are very jumbled the author themselves don't understand ke kaise method batani hai bachcho ko to isliye maine i have stuck to this method and i always recommend ke aap bhi yahi method follow karo likhne ke liye ठीक है बाकी कुछ नहीं है सेम चीज से सॉल्व किया है वो लोग ने ओनली थिंग हाउ यू राइट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है तो ये हो गया तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन है ये शायद नेक्स्ट इज फिफ्टीन फाइंड द अमाउंट एंड कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट ऑन रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड एट सिक्स परसेंट पर एन एम फॉर थ्री ईयर कंपाउंडेड एन्युअली हाउ मेनी कैलकुलेशन विल यू डू फॉर फर्स्ट ईयर फॉर सेकेंड ईयर फॉर थर्ड ईयर कैन यू डू इट same thing you have to find amount and compound interest and i'm giving you exactly 10 minutes to do this question and i want correct answer come on try everyone fir hum discuss karenge answer
Five minutes are up. So, Sir, the formula for the compound interest, um, can you tell the formula? Sir? Please wait, please wait. Okay, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. I was asking that. Can you tell the formula for compound interest? 
I got the amount and I got the principal. Compound interest is the sum of the interests of all the years. I1 oh. plus I2 plus I3 or final amount minus original principal. Okay, sir. Like how we discussed in previous question. Yes. Guys, time is up. Yes, sir. Just a minute. You got the amount. Can you... I got the amount and principal. Okay. Now you told compound interest and calculating compound interest. Tell me the amount. Five thousand nine hundred and fifty five point zero eight. Sir, I also got the same. What about Dhani? What about Raj? Be same you got it. Raj, did you get it? Uh, no, I'm having a bit doubt in the last uh, last part. What is the doubt? Sir, I'm not able to solve. What you are not able to solve? Where are you? I cannot understand. Now I cannot see your book. Where are you? Till where you have reached? So the I two is equal to rupees four twenty and up. Then find A two, na amount for the second year. Then you have to do one more calculation for the third year, and then you will find amount and total interest. Yes. This is for three years, so you have to do calculations for three years. Yes, Om. Fast. We get only limited time for every sum. Dhani, कहाँ पे उसका देख जरा चेक कर कहाँ पहुँची वो? Just check her values. P1, I1, P2, I2. Time will be one in all the three years. Now I want you to open your book and check this answer. Amount and interest. Amount and compound interest. Question number 15. Correct? Okay, let's move to the next question. So we will have limited time for every question. Okay, if you are not able to do, we will go ahead. We will move ahead. Look here now. Stop and go to the next page or next wherever you are starting the next question. Yeah. Find the amount and compound interest on rupees 6500. That means principal is rupees 6500 for two years. Time is equal to two years. If the rate of interest being 5% per annum during first year and 6% per annum during second year. Now the rates are different. R1 rate for first year is 5% per annum. R2 rate for the second year is 6% per annum. There is no change in the method. Same cheese karna hai for first year calculation alak se karoge tum and then for second year calculation alag se karoge sab ek saath shuru karenge and i want you to finish within 5 minutes i'm only giving 5 minutes not more than that so i'm just writing this for you 
P1 is equal to rupees 6500, R1 is equal to 5% per annum, T1 is equal to 2 years and we have to find I1. Once you get I1, you have to find A1. This A1 will become P2. R2 will be 6% per annum. And T2, hey, there is one mistake. Time is one year. T2 will also be one year. Then you have to find I2 using the formula of interest. And then you have to find A2. Okay. Amount will be equal to A2 for the final answer. And interest will be equal to A2 minus P1 or I1 plus I2. 5 minutes only. Your time has started already. I have discussed the whole method so there should be no confusion. Sorry, sir, I had got disconnected due to network. No issues. You can continue from here. Sir, the next sum? Yeah, this is the next question. Okay, sir.
done very nice first tell me what is i1 what what did you get here 325 confirm yes sir it is 325 also got i1 a1 i2 409.5 a2 so that is your final amount and what is the interest are you are you sure open the book and check the answers please how many questions after this in this part okay 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 so time is up and we'll we are moving to the next question okay so now you have understood ke how to solve questions for compound interest year by year you will get the interests find the amount the amount of this year will become the principal for the next year and so on so forth you have to continue and the interest will be final amount minus original principal or sum of all the individual interest for each year that is how you have to do this is the last question for this part yep i think it is uh, converted it will be 16 2 by 3% can you check in the book yeah so this is the mistake of the font it is not picking up that mix fraction this will be 16 2 by 3 percent right okay mr singh borrowed rupees 21600 for three years so what is the principal rupees 21600 what is the time three years at what is the rate 16 2 by 3 percent which is 50 by 3 percent per annum while mr gupta borrowed the same amount at simple interest for the same time period and for the same rate of interest so this is case number one let me wait i cannot change it because this is in text mode wait okay it's okay so this data is for Mr. Singh. Okay. You have to write Mr. Singh on the top. And the next data is for Mr. Gupta. So what Mr. Gupta is doing? Borrowing the same money. And that is principal is rupees 21,600 rate is 50 by 3 percent time is three years okay but he is borrowing at simple interest and mr singh is borrowing at 
compound interest who has to pay more and by how much who has to pay more interest or more yeah that is who has to pay more interest and by how much so in both the cases you have to find the interest and you have to compare them so first calculation will be for mr singh okay for mr singh for first year p1 will be 21600 t1 will be 3 years oh i'm sorry 1 year yeah because it's compound interest and r1 will be 50 by 3 percent per annum and you have to find i1 and then a1 this a1 will become your principal for the second year that is a1 is equal to p2 then t2 r2 and continue for 3 years and find the interest pehle mr singh ka interest dhoondo ye tumhara first target hai come on start quickly यस गाइस कितने इयर्स तक पहुंचे ऑनलाइन समबडी इज देयर सर सर अमाउंट एट द सेकंड अमाउंट एट द सेकंड इयर एंड ऑफ द सेकंड इयर गुड गुड यू हैव टू डू इट फॉर द 3 इयर्स ओके कंटिन्यू यस सर आई एम ऑन आई हैव रीच देयर गुड गुड
net thirty four thousand three hundred. Find the interest for all three years. A three minus B one. for the for mr singh okay i don't want to know the amount but for mr singh you are saying that the compound interest is rupees 12000 cool theek hai for mr singh you have calculated this now for mr gupta you don't have to do first year second year third year you directly have to i is equal to prt upon 100 and get the interest that is simple interest if you get that please tell me rupees 10800 now tell me they both have borrowed the same amount for the same time for the same rate who is paying more mr singh is paying more he is paying back 12700 as compound interest by how much he is paying more so you have to subtract them so i think you will get around 1900 or something You have to subtract them, CI minus SI. So, Mr. Singh is paying more amount, more money, at the end of three years. Uh, how much more money? Rupees one thousand nine hundred more than Mr. Gupta. Write the statement, and then open the book and check the answer. both the compound and simple interest because they have asked na who has to pay more and by how much now check the answer answer is correct online anyone has got the same answer Sir, I am getting nineteen hundred. Nineteen hundred as the difference between C I and S I. Yes, sir. And what about C I and S I? Are your amounts correct as visible on the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They are correct. Okay, cool, nice. So th this part is over here. Okay, this is how you deal with compound interest. Now the next part is the formula, compound interest formula, which I was talking about. I will introduce it now. Can you tell me how many solved examples are there in the next part? One, two, three, four, five. Are you sure? Yes, sir. 
Okay, let's quickly go to the next part. Is this the first question? Can you confirm once? First question, okay. But here we are going to use the formula for finding compound interest. So, I have told you that there is uh, one method where you use simple interest method to find compound interest. So, what you do is you find simple interest for first year, second year, third year and how many years are given and then you add all the interest to get the compound interest or you find you subtract the final amount and original principal to get the compound interest here you don't have to do all this here you'll get answer quickly easily because there is a short formula okay so i'll tell you the formula for amount in case of compound interest yes this formula is the question which we saw earlier uh technically no because there you were not introduced to that formula but in exam yes because in, because in exam yeah but in exam also if they ask you don't use for, without using formula and solve this so then you have to use that method which we just did now that is second part method but in exam if they say if they don't say anything use formula don't use formula they don't don't say anything then you can use the formula for finding compound interest so it depends on the question but technically for all those questions from that second part, you cannot use the formula. So exercise 8B, right? You cannot use the formula. Exercise 8C, you can use the formula. You have to use the formula. So the, what is the formula? See, formula is A is equal to, amount is equal to P bracket 1 plus R upon 100, the whole raise to N. Hmm? Now, what is A? A is the amount. What is P? P is the principal. What is R? Is the rate. And what is N? N is the time period. Why time period is N, not T? I'll tell you why. Okay. First, let us apply this formula. Achha, there is one more formula for compound interest. See, compound interest you know, compound interest is amount minus principal. This amount minus this principal will give you compound interest. There is one more formula. Ci is equal to, what is the formula for amount? P bracket 1 plus R upon 100, the whole raise to N minus P. Ye amount ka formula ye minus principal yahan pe aa gaya. Amount minus principal is compound interest. Now you take out P common from both the terms. So if P comes out common, you get, sorry. If P comes out common, you get 1 plus R upon 100, the whole raise to N minus 1. This is the formula for compound interest. So please note down these formulae. This one, amount wala formula and this compound interest ka pura derivation formula ka. This whole thing. Please note down. Ye tumhara amount ka formula hai. Sab kuch likhna hai aur jo mene highlight kiya wo important hai. Matlab uska use karenge hum. चलो अब हम ये फॉर्मूला अप्लाई करेंगे एंड विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन 
क्या है क्वेश्चन फाइंड द अमाउंट ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड ये क्या है वॉट इज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड प्रिंसिपल फॉर थ्री ईयर्स ये क्या है टाइम मतलब एन है थ्री ईयर्स कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट कंपाउंडेड एन्युअली एट टेन परसेंट पर एनम ओके सो अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू पी क्या है ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड ब्रैकेट वन प्लस रेट कितना है टेन अपॉन हंड्रेड द होल रेस टू टाइम कितना है थ्री अब एक मिनट यहां पे देख लो मैं तुम्हें बता देता हूं इसको सॉल्व कैसे करते हैं क्योंकि तुम लोग गलतियां करोगे इसमें आई डोंट वांट यू टू मेक मिस्टेक्स इनिशियली सबसे पहले ये जीरो जीरो कट करो इसका तो यू गेट वन प्लस वन बाई टेन ठीक है इसके बाद क्या करना है इसके बाद एल ले लेना ठीक है सो यू गेट टेन प्लस वन बाई टेन दैट इज इलेवन बाई टेन द होल रेस टू थ्री दैट इज होल क्यूब ठीक है तो क्या हो जाएगा अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू 12,000 थाउजेंड टाइम्स इलेवन क्यूब अपॉन टेन क्यूब टेन क्यूब कितना होता है थाउजेंड टेन क्यूब थाउजेंड होता है ये तीनों जीरो को ये तीनों जीरो के साथ कट कर दो तो अमाउंट कितना आएगा 12 टाइम्स इलेवन का क्यूब इलेवन का क्यूब कितना होता है स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट क्यूब एंड क्यूब रूट में पढ़ा था हमने 20 तक के क्यूब वन ये होता है इलेवन का क्यूब मल्टीप्लाई करो अमाउंट निकल जाएगी फाइंड द अमाउंट दिस इज हाउ यू यूज द फॉर्मूला स्कूल में चैप्टर कंप्लीट हो गया ये अच्छा अच्छा ओके गुड स्टिल दे आर गोइंग इन अ गुड स्पीड अगर ये लाइव स्कूल होता है फिजिकल तो खत्म हो जाता है या हाउ मच फिफ्टीन ओके सो दिस इज द अमाउंट सर आई एम गेटिंग थर्टी नाइन हंड्रेड सेवेंटी टू रुपीज यू आर फाइंडिंग द कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट माई फ्रेंड Um, yes, you sir. also have to find the amount. Okay, sir. So for, Let me check. If this calculation, with this calculation, you cannot get three. So, sir, I got. I have got the amount. I have got. Ah, che, you got the amount. Fifteen thousand nine hundred seventy-two. Yeah. Compound interest. Now you have to find which is amount minus principal, which is one five nine seven two minus principal, which is twelve thousand, which is rupees three nine seven two. ये तुम्हारा कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट है इजी है फर्स्ट ईयर सेकंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर कुछ करने की जरूरत नहीं है डायरेक्टली आंसर आता है कैलकुलेशन थोड़ा बड़ा है लेकिन लेंदी भी नहीं है ना ये भी तो फायदा है यू दिस नॉट इजी दिस मोर इजी यस दिस इज इजी यस ऑफ कोर्स दैट्स व्हाई वी प्रिफर दिस बट इन एग्जाम यू टू बी केयरफुल के वो लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं क्वेश्चन में using formula without using formula this is the formula they are talking about okay if they don't say anything use the formula for finding compound interest but be careful because this formula is little tricky ye wala compound interest ka this is the amount ka formula which we just used next question find the compound interest on rupees 6400 for 2 years compounded annually at This is this must be seven one by two. Can you please confirm? Seven one by two percent. है ना? Seven one by two is fifteen by two percent, right? So here what we have to find? So which formula will use compound interest? नो डायरेक्टली यू यूज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इसका भी आदत डालना पड़ेगा कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल ब्रैकेट वन प्लस आर अपॉन हंड्रेड रेस टू एन माइनस वन ऐसा ठीक है अब सिर्फ तुम्हें वैल्यू सब्सटीट्यूट करनी है प्रिंसिपल की रेट की टाइम की 
और इसको सॉल्व करना है प्लीज मिस्टेक मत करना कुछ भी ये माइनस वन ब्रैकेट के बाहर है मतलब पहले इसको सॉल्व करना फिर माइनस वन करना बी केयरफुल कम ऑन यू कैन डू इट मोर थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड वी आर डन विद दिस पॉइंट No, no. You write it at minus one. Principal, you will write it outside the bracket. So whatever answer comes inside here, you will multiply it with the principal. हम्म तो पहले इसको सॉल्व करो रेस टू एन करो फिर माइनस वन करो फिर पी से मल्टीप्लाई करो बॉर्ड मास फॉलो करो इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू सॉल्व आई कैन सॉल्व एंड शो यू
Yes, done. Let me help you with the calculation because I think that is your problem. Calculation. Okay, CI. Directly CI will get 6400 bracket, under chota bracket, 1 plus. This is 15 by 2 upon 100, that is 15 by 200 directly. Raise to N. N ka matlab hai time, that is 2 minus 1 bracket close. Sabse pehle mene bola under solve karlo. Thik hai? To ye ho jayega. Uh, 5 3s are and 5 40s are. So, ye ho jayega 40 plus 3 by 40. 43 by 40 the whole square. So, 6400 bracket 43 by 40 the whole square minus 1. Sahi hai? Ab mujhe tum batao 43 ka square kya hota hai? Itna to tum mujhe help kari sakte ho. यहां तक नहीं आए थे तुम लोग नो ऑलवेज कट इट ऑलवेज कट इट अदरवाइज इट विल बी अ बिग बिग मेस 43 का स्क्वायर बता दे 18 1849 तू बता रहा है पूछ रहा है मेरे से कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं लग रहा है तेरे में 43 का स्क्वायर एनीबॉडी एल्स कंफर्मेशन चाहिए मुझे वन एट फोर नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड माइनस वन ब्रैकेट क्लोज अब मैं एलसीएम ले लूँगा सो सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड टाइम्स वन एट फोर नाइन माइनस सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड अपॉन 1600, ठीक है? अब ये 1600 के दो जीरो, दो जीरो कट, 16, four जा 64, if you remember, ठीक है? So four multiplied by 1849 minus 1600 कितना हो जाएगा? 249, 249 four जा निकाल लो हो गया सिंपल इंटरेस, कंपाउंड इंटरेस मिल जाएगा, 249 four जा Nine ninety six two forty nine four zero nine ninety six rupees nine nine six. This is the compound interest directly formula se aya. इसलिए compound interest का formula याद करना जरूरी है उसको learn करना और उसको समझना और उसमें calculation करना आना चाहिए नहीं तो you will do the long way again amount का formula फिर amount minus principle don't do all that direct apply करो check करो book में textbook में very good let's move to the next question Find the amount of rupees 25,000 after two years compounded annually, the rate of interest being 8% per annum during first year and 9% per annum during second year. Also find the compound interest. So, sabse pehle yaan pe ek cheez note karo. You have got the principal, you have got the time and you have got two rates, 8% per annum and 9% per annum. So, amount is equal to P bracket 1 plus R1 upon 100 into 1 plus R2 upon 100 raise to N nahi aega क्या किया मैंने नया फॉर्मूला बताया तुमको 
Yeah, because there are two brackets already with different rates. When rates are different, yeah, you write two separate brackets with different rates for consecutive years. So, this will be 25,000 bracket 1 plus R1. R1 is how much? 8 upon 100. R2 is 1 plus 9 upon 100. Bracket close. And you solve it simply. So, you get the amount. Very good. Please share with me. Amount is 29,430. Find the compound interest as well. CI is equal to A minus P directly. I hope everyone is able to do these questions. Because now the calculation part is very simple. Bata bhi diya bahut bar man. Now check the answer in the textbook. Good. How many more questions left? Great. Let's move to the next question. Application based question here. Population and price. Kya hua hai ki nahi? Bohut practice lagi. Ek to hai time aur dusra accuracy. Ye dono pe kaam karna hai. You don't have the time whatever you wish for. Next year to class 9th mein this chapter is again coming. And it is huge. And your uh, syllabus is also huge. And that time you need to actually up your game. You are very slow with calculation. What about you? Kaise karoge 9th mein? Plan hai koi? Practice karna padega abhi se. Nahi to nahi hoga. Kaise kar rahe ho? Second assessment. Tomorrow? Tomorrow is what day? Th it's generally Saturday's na? result. Achha. So it's a holiday like uh, 
open house or nothing like that. so yeah but you have classes online acha 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 okay okay so uh, we'll do these two questions in the next class now i leave it up to you what i suggest is you guys should should sit here and complete the exercise 